dear learner i am tapasika sabdas from the department of computer science krishnakanta handik state of an university today i am going to discuss a topic algorithm and flow chart which is from the course computer programming using c we have already heard about various programming languages like c c++ java etc a computer program is written in some programming language uh, with the help of some instructions written in correct order to get a desired result and the method of writing the instruction to solve the given problem is called programming in order to write computer programs without any logical errors it is recommended programmers to prepare a simple writing showing the steps involved in the program with this discussion the learners will be able to learn about algorithm pseudo code and flow chart they will be able to define what is algorithm what is pseudo code and what is a flow chart they will be able to write algorithms for various problems they will also learn and use the various symbols of flow chart they will be able to draw different flow charts for different problems now what is an algorithm an algorithm represents the step by step sequence of instructions required to solve a problem uh, in simple term we can say an algorithm is a set of rules uh, to get that expected output from a given input an algorithm gives the logic of the program an algorithm has a finite number of steps and some steps may involve some decision making and repetition it is basically a blueprint to write a program to solve a particular problem uh now let me discuss the methods for writing an algorithm for uh, writing an algorithm we have to um, uh, first state the problem that means first we are to state the problem we are trying to solve in clear and concise terms next we have to list the inputs that means we are to list the inputs needed to solve the problem after that we have to list the outputs we are that means we are to find what the algorithm will uh, produce as a result then we have to identify the steps it is basically the steps which are needed to convert the process of inputs to produce the output and the last step is to test the algorithm that means we have to choose different data sets and verify that our algorithm works for those data sets there are certain terms which are used to develop an algorithm we can use read input and accept uh, this type of words to represent input operation to give values of variables to a computer similarly words like display show write or print can be used to represent the output operations and uh, forward arrow or the assignment symbol can be used to assign the result of obtained by evaluating right side variables or expression to the left side variable for branching and conditional statement we can use if then or if then else like uh, phrases the conditional statement usually contains some relational operators like less than greater than less than equal to or greater than equal to etc and these symbols are used uh, while we check some conditions in a branching or conditional statements and for repetitive tasks like um, if we want to repeat certain uh, task in a problem then we can use uh, repeat for or repeat while uh, phrases in an algorithm now let me discuss the types of statements in an algorithm the statements in an algorithm are normally of three different types one is sequential statements then the other is selection or decision making statements then the iteration sequence sequential statements are uh, steps of the algorithm which is executed one by one sequentially in the specified order the next one selection or decision statements are used when the outcome of of the process depends on some condition and the general form 
for uh, selection and decision making statements are uh, first we have to give the if keyword then condition then we have to use the then keyword then statement one if the condition is true then only the statement one will be executed and if the condition is false that means the statement two will be executed from the else part now for repetition of works that means iteration we have to use the iterative or repetitive statements for this we can use repeat for or repeat while construct repetition occurs in one or more steps until some condition is true now let me come to the flow chart what is a flow chart a flow chart is basically a diagram it is a graphical representation of sequence of steps to solve a problem by looking at the flow chart one can understand the operations and sequence of operations performed in a system and that means uh, by looking at the flow chart we can easily understand what will be the input what will be the processing and what will be the output to draw a flow chart certain <coughs> symbols are used and those symbols are <coughs> oval oval is used for um, uh, representing start and end of a flow chart when we st uh, start a uh, start to draw a particular flow chart of a program then we have to start with an oval it is for starting and ending the symbol parallelogram is used for input and output in a program we have uh, some input uh, from the keyboard then we have to use th uh, this parallelogram symbol symbol and for similarly for output also this parallelogram symbol is used now a rectangular uh, symbol is used for processing any kind of calculation can be done with the with the help of the use of this rectangular symbol and the diamond this diamond symbol is used for uh, giving some condition that means decision making and there are four arrows upward downward left and right arrows and uh, these uh, arrows represents the full flow line that means these are used to include the flow uh, of uh, the logic by uh, connecting symbols then a circle a small circle is used to connect a uh, defined parts of a flow chart uh, in in a uh, big program the flow chart will be large so uh, they are may be required two pages so to connect uh, uh, the symbols between two defined places pages we can use this uh, circle symbol and these are the uh, symbols used for drawing a flow chart now let me discuss some uh, simple program to write the algorithm and flow chart <coughs> now this is a simple program uh, to find the sum of two numbers and this is the uh, steps for the algorithm there are only four steps in this simple program first step is to take the input as a and b a and b are two variables and these are taken uh, in step one then step two uh, sum is calculated a plus b that means the uh, value of the variable a and the value of the variable is added and it is stored in the variable sum it is a processing or calculation type of statement third step is display sum it is a uh, simple statement uh, as the result of these two variables are stored in this variable sum so it is displayed then in the step four uh, we have written stop that means the algorithm is finished and this is the flow chart for the algorithm first uh, start symbol is denoted with the help of a uh, oval then input output is taken in a parallelogram then sum is calculated in a rectangular shape uh, box then again the uh, result that means the result is stored in this variable sum so it is in a a parallelogram symbol then stop this is the simple flow chart for this simple program this is another example which is used to 
convert temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit using the formula F equal to 9 by 5 into Celsius plus 32. This is the formula for converting temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You have to know the formula. That means you have to know the logic of the program. And this is the simple algorithm. Only four, four, uh, four steps are used. In the step one, uh, temperature in Celsius is entered. In step two, the calculation is done f equal to 9 by 5 into temperature in Celsius plus 32. This is the formula for converting uh, temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then in step 3, uh, display temperature in Fahrenheit. Then stop. This is the complete algorithm for this program. And uh, the flow chart is shown here. Input is taken in variable C, then calculation is done. Then uh, temperature in Fahrenheit is displayed. This is the second example. In the third example, one condition is there. Uh, and this program is to find the algorithm and flow chart of a particular number which is even or odd. That means to check whether a number is even or odd. First, we have to enter the number and it is stored in this variable n. Then one if then else is written. If number is uh, divisible by 2, then the number is even. If the number is not divisible by 2, then the number is odd. This is the condition. If the remainder is 0, that means n modulus operator 2 is equal to 0, that means there is no remainder, that means the number is even, else otherwise the number is odd. And this is the complete algorithm for this program. And in this flow side, you can see one diamond is used. Uh, to input the condition. First, uh, uh, first the number is taken in this variable n, then it is checked whether is numberable, number is divisible by 2 or not. If remainder is 0, that means number, number is divisible by 2. Yes, that means the condition is true, then the uh, control will come to the even uh, next part. That means yes part, it will give even number. If the number is not divisible by 2, it will go to the right hand side. That means uh, here uh, the no part is written in the right hand side and it will display the odd number. And this is the flow chart for uh, this type of problem where condition is used. This is another example. In this example, algorithm and flow chart to find the smallest of two numbers is, is shown. Here two number is taken as input then the two number is compared with the help of if then else statement. If the number is small, then it will display smallest number. If the number is greater, then it will display the greater number. And the condition is tested in the flow side with the help of a diamond shaped symbol. In this example, one algorithm is written and the flow chart is given to find the sum of first and assigned numbers. That means uh, n is entered through the keyboard. Suppose n is 5, then uh, it will continue from 1 to 5 and it will calculate the sum of 1 to 5. Here, one uh, repeat, repetitive statement is used. So, repeat while is used here. In step 2, uh, count is a variable and sum is a variable which is initialized to 0. Then in step 3, number is entered, which can be any number like 5, 10, 50, etc. In step 4, it is written repeat step 4 and step 5 while count less than equal to n. That means the loop will continue, that means the repetition will continue until n becomes, uh, the counter becomes n. Initially count is initialized to 0. And uh, when it becomes, suppose I have entered 5, then it will, the counter will become uh, 5 at the end. And it will calculate the uh, sum equal to sum plus n. That means uh, number is added with the variable sum and then it will calculate the uh, summation of all the numbers from 1 to n. And uh, in step 5, counter is incremented by 1. That means 
initially count is 1 for the next iteration that, that means for the next repetition the count all will become uh, 1 initially 0 next 1 next 2 next 3 like this up to the number like this the total will be calculated and it will, it will be stored in this variable sum after that the uh, in the step 6 sum will be displayed with the help of a uh, display statement we can use uh, display also here only i have used print uh, word uh, we can use any kind of word like print display write etc and this is the flow chart for this algorithm we have already discussed various examples of uh, writing algorithm and um, flowchart of various simple programs. Now I am coming to what is pseudocode. Pseudocodes are informal language that are helps programmers to develop algorithms. Pseudocode is very similar to everyday English. It facilitates designer to focus on the logic of the algorithm without concentrating on the details of the language syntax. The sole purpose of pseudocodes is to enhance human understandability uh, of the solution. Now let me discuss one example of pseudocode. This is the pseudocode to find the area of a rectangle. Uh, these are written in some informal uh, language. Uh, first line is read height of the rectangle. That means we have to enter, enter the height of the rectangle then read width of the rectangle we have to give the input of uh, width of the rectangle then compute area as height into width because the to find the area of a rectangle we have to multiply height and width so first um, rectangular height and width are entered then it is calculated by height into width this is the simple pseudocode for calculating the area of a rectangle now let me discuss another example, write pseudocode and algorithm to determine a student's final grade and indicate whether it is passing or failing based on average mark uh, greater than equal to 40. The final grade is calculated as the average of 5 subject marks. marks. If the average marks of 5 subject is uh, greater than or equal to 40 then the student will pass otherwise the student will fail and we have to write the pseudocode for this uh, problem and this is the pseudocode for this example first input a set of five subjects marks then calculate their average by summing and dividing by five then if average is below 40 and this is the condition then display fail otherwise display pass if the marks is more than average marks is more than 40 or equal to 40 he, he or she will pass otherwise he or she will be failed and this is the detailed algorithm for this program in step one uh, first uh, numbers of that means marks of five subjects are entered in step two grade is calculated uh, by uh, summing up the marks and then dividing it by uh, number five that means there are five subjects so I have divided uh, by five then if the grade is less than or equal to 40 then it will uh, then the student will pass or fail that means if the grade is less than 40 the student will fail or if the grade is greater than 40 then the student will pass and this is the complete algorithm for this type of problem here I am showing the flow chart uh, for this uh, example here uh, in the input part it is shown in a parallelogram marks of five subjects are taken then it is in a rectangular grade is calculated then one condition is given in a uh, rhombus type symbol if the grade is less than equal to 40 uh, less than 40 then it uh, he or she will fail if the grade is greater than equal to 40 then the student will pass and this is the flow chart for this type of problem.